In this tutorial, we're going to build a jQuery animation technique. And uh, in fact, we'll take advantage of this technique to have a little photo gallery uh, using uh, purely jQuery. The end result of this will be something like this. You have two images in here. And uh, when you click one, it gets bigger. When you click the other one, it gets smaller. So in order to achieve this, we're using here uh, jQuery animation. and. Uh, Maybe in another tutorial, we're going to build something more complex like this one here, uh, which is more like photo gallery. But for the starter uh, tutorial, we're starting with this one. So I need you to open Dreamweaver. I have it open here and create a new document. And um, <coughs> I will save this document to my desktop. I will call it uh, photo gallery. And I'm going to provide a title with jQuery animation. Now I need you to insert two images. Uh, I'll have the source files for you available uh, when we finish this tutorial in the description area. So I'll pick two images and uh, by default, these images are, uh, come with 500 by 500 pixels uh, width and height, but I'm going, I'm going to produce this at uh, 150 and uh, 150 for the height. Click enter and insert an another image again. Let's pick this one and give it a width and height of 150 and the animation technique is going basically to uh, recover the image back to its original size 500 by 500 but when clicking on it so uh, we have two images here and we wrap them with a p yeah by default they have paragraphs uh, i need you to go to design view and click on the first image and give it an id here i'm going to call this img1 for image one and we'll do the same for the second image. Now we need some coding. We, we, we're finished. If we run this, we can see uh, these are the images. But when you click on, a, on, on each one of them, it will, will not, it will not be bigger or produce a bigger photo. So back to the code view. First, we will, we will need to import the uh, scripting uh, for jQuery. This is simple. All you have to say is uh, this line of code. Um, now, in order to uh, to import the latest jQuery, there is a link you can use always if you don't want to download this locally to your computer and use it from there. So this link here, when you type this, when jQuery have, uh, has an update for um, the jQuery uh, main library, it will be updated automatically for you as well. So at this stage, we have imported the jQuery library. And we have two images with two names, uh, img1 and img2. And we have to type the scripting to tell the browsers when the document gets loaded. We need to check when someone clicks on image 1 to get it bigger and uh, to reduce the size of the second image and vice versa. <coughs> Let's do this quickly. So. Um, Okay, this statement, you, you type document.ready function. This means when the document is ready. Okay, so um, <coughs> it's like this. When our document is ready, I need to check if someone clicked on image one, img1. So this is how we do it. Dollar sign, parentheses, uh, brackets hash image name the image name is uh, img1 and we close uh, we close it from this side and then we say dot click and when we say click we need to have a function generated the function does the, the following we need to say so we need to first reduce the second image so this is where the animation part comes 
img2.animate this is a built-in function uh, in jQuery so you don't have to write anything you just say img2.animate and you can animate basically anything like height with uh, maybe opacity and uh, positions but for this tutorial we're simply going to animate the width and height so I'm gonna force reset the, pic the size the height for the image the second image at 150 pixels for the height and 150 pixels for the width and uh, there is another argument here which is 1000 this is the, the number of milliseconds when this process this animation process takes place so in this case it will take a complete second for the image to be resized from its original image if it's a 500 to 150 you can maybe make it lower like 100 which is half a second but one, th one second seems okay for this example now that we reduced the second image we need to make sure that since we are clicking this first image we need to make sure that this image uh, gets bigger so we repeat the same steps but instead of saying image 2 we say image uh, 1 in this case and um, let me see uh, so image one dot animate we we'll set the height at uh, 500 pixels we we'll set the width at 500 pixels we close this and we need it to be uh, consistent so we'll have to uh, one second for both uh, for both images to take place and this is uh, this will be synchronized at the same time so at this stage I will run this example file um, preview in browser Chrome now we didn't have anything we didn't place anything on the second image but on this th on the first image if we click this now we should and I'm saying we should because I'm not sure if we have errors here but we should get it bigger so I'm going to click right now and I get an error so I'll dig quickly and see what's happening and um, I can say here quickly um, maybe we have an addition an additional closing parenthesis in here so I'm saving this no if you give me a second to check what's happening so we have a function for on click um, okay so the mistake here is uh, we need to make sure to have the hashtag at the beginning of the images name so I'll refresh the page now hoping it will work this time or oh, not yet so I think the error is in here we need to close the scripting like this let's see now yes correct so yeah I made a mistake which is e when you click the script tag you cannot close it like this backslash and closing you need to close it like it's closing the uh, bracket and then opening the um, the tag uh, item the tag uh, symbol and closing it by saying backslash script so uh, as you can see when when we click this we got the image getting bigger but we need to do the opposite thing uh, for the other image so all I'm going to do in this place is to copy this this part when it says when we click on image one it gets resized so I'm I'm copying this port pasting it and we'll switch the values and I say here when image two is clicked I need I need image one to be set at 150 by 150 and image two to be set at 500 by 500 so if I hit refresh now and try it when I click the other image, it gets bigger. So that was a simple example, I know. And um, when you have more images here, uh, of course, you can't just come here and copy paste all over all the images. Uh, for example, if you have 30 images, we cannot have like uh, 30 uh, duplicates of these parts like this. Well, this is very wrong. Uh, in this area, you will have to have uh, some looping, maybe for loop. 
but this is not the idea behind this tutorial uh, you can take it from here and try on your own the idea of this tutorial is to show you how you ca how you can take advantage of the animate uh, function in jQuery and use it to build a very simple uh, photo gallery and again I have this other example in here which is um, maybe more interactive and if you guys need me to explain this then please comment and tell me and I'll do it as soon as possible thank you for watching have a nice day. Bye-bye.